Hello and welcome. In a previous video, we actually transferred a small CSV file from a USB C flash drive to the projects folder of Trimble Access on a TSC5 data collector. In this video, we're going to show how to create a brand new job and just simply to import that CSV file into the job. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is from the Android desktop, I'm going to actually go ahead and open up the Trimble Access software. So we'll give that just a second to open on up. And when it does, uh, it's going to show me the projects directory. So uh, the projects folder that I actually uh, copied this uh, CSV file to is project one. So let me go ahead, tap on project one. I'm going to select open in the lower right. And I'm just going to go ahead and create a new job here in this case. And I'm just going to call this uh, my job one. In this case, I'm going to select U.S. Survey Foot uh, as my template. Uh, you could use a variety of different templates, and, and uh, this is one that I uh, that I set up uh, already. Um, but uh, in any event, I'm just going to go ahead and hit Accept on that. So the job is open now, and what I want to do is I want to go ahead and import that small CSV file of coordinates into my job. So uh, you can see there's nothing on screen right now, even if I go ahead and sort of do a zoom extents. I'm going to go ahead and hit the three little lines in the upper left-hand corner, the little, three little menu lines. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tap on My Job 1 in the upper left. I'm going to go ahead and tap that with my stylus. And under My Job 1, if I go ahead and select the Import dialog down at the bottom of the screen, you'll see I have a choice of several different file formats and different things. In this case, it's a CSV file of comma delimited coordinates that I want to import. So let's go ahead and we'll select that. And then to the right, you'll see in the upper right, the file name option. So I want to go ahead and navigate to my Trimble Data Projects folder here. So let me go ahead and do that. And then specifically Project 1. And there, I actually are, am already there. So there's my mini section uh, file. Looks like I got a couple of other files in that uh, same directory under my projects and project one. But let me just go ahead and grab my mini section. I'm going to go ahead and hit accept. And I'm going to make sure that the code fields are correct. I've got my point ID. If I were to print out that file on the printed page, it's telling me that the uh, point number is in, in column one and, and uh, the northing is in column two and the easting is in column three and so on and so forth. So uh, if everything is cool on that, I'm just going to go ahead and hit accept. Telling my transfer is complete. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. I'll go ahead and open up my job. And if I do another zoom extents type of a thing or a zoom all, tapping on that magnifying glass with the two little opposing arrows, there are my points and elevations. If I wanted to verify that kind of in a more text format, I could hit the three little lines in the upper left and I could go to the point manager. There's actually a shortcut under my favorites uh, towards the middle of the screen. So let me go ahead and tap on that. And there are those coordinates. So hope that helps and we will see you next time.